Hi, in today's video we wanted to show you what's the proper way to execute a roundhouse kick, okay? I'll give yourself some sort of a training aid, like my Bob doll here, okay? This guy's one of my best friends. We hang out quite a bit. Okay, we use him for a lot of our kicking drills. The great thing about this guy is that I'm about six feet tall, and he can be adjusted. Right now he's about 5'11". We can adjust him up to make him about six foot four. We can take him down. So I would say, once you get to the point when you can throw a good roundhouse kick, your own head height, you're getting pretty good. Okay, the first thing we do is we want to have a good, strong fighting stance. Okay, I don't like it when I see kickers kicking from like, you know, a high nothing, you know, stance called nothing stance. Okay, treat this guy like your life depends on your ability to kick a roundhouse kick. So good, solid sparring stance from here, hands up, whatever that means to you. Sparring stance can be different, whatever discipline you study. But I would say have good rooting in your legs. Okay, from this position, I would pivot your front foot out. Then take your back foot and using as much hit as you possibly can, rotate it into your target. Okay. The roundhouse kick does not have to be high, it has to be powerful. So when you're in here, pivot your front foot out, take the hip around, and deliver the kick right into your target. So I don't care how flexible you are. All I want to see you do is practice to no end. I mean, you should be practicing this kick for hours. So when you're inside here, go to his ribs at first. Just pivot that front foot out, take this hip, and throw it at that window right there. And then again, pivot your foot, take that hip, throw it at that window. Pivot your foot, take that hip, throw it. Any sport you watch, go watch baseball, watch a batter. They don't swing just the arms. They swing with the hips. Their hips drive, and their arms feel the force because of the hips, okay? You talk to a golfer. I don't think you can play golf without the hips. I don't think you can do much of anything, okay? So use your hips. After you've got a pretty powerful kick there, now let's get some flexibility with it. To get flexibility, I would incorporate a lot of flexibility and stretching drills with your training. If you want to have some ideas, click on our other videos to get some thoughts, okay? From here, pivot your front foot out, same thing, but we're going to snap that kick at the last second right at our opponent's head. So, pivot your foot, at the last second, I want you to snap it. And back. Pivot that foot, last second, snap it. You can practice accuracy with your roundhouse kick. Put something on top of your opponent's head. You're talking about six foot four or something like that now. Give it a good solid sparring stance. Root those legs down. Take your front foot, pivot it out, your back leg. Use that hip and just kick that target off the head. Okay? These are great. Nice focus mitts. You can use those with a partner too. Strong stance, pivot your foot up, take that back leg, drive that hip, and take that target right off the top. Okay? Again, from here, I would do about 10 times. Pivot your foot, take that hip, drive it in that way. Okay? Last one. Balance it. Strong stance, pivot that foot, take that hip, drive it in that way. Okay? So, there's some good drills for you. After that, work on striking with different points of your foot. So far we've used shin kick, top of the foot kick. I want you to focus on pulling your toes back using the ball of your foot. Okay, this is a great kick for focusing a lot of that power into a more focused spot, creating more pounds per square inch. So pivot your foot, take that ball of foot, strike it into the target. Ball of foot, strike it in. Ball of foot, snap it last second. Use the other foot, snap it. Pivot that foot out, snap it. Pivot that foot out. Snap it, okay? So we got body shot, we got head shot, other side, body shot, other side, head shot. We've got ball of foot low, ball of foot high. We've got ball of foot low, ball of foot high. You need to get on your own and do a hundred, if not more, of these kicks every day. Do not take a day off and kick as if your life depends on it.